Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Pine Cove Farm. This is episode number two. My name is Jerry, Grizzly Bear Sims, and we are basically picking up pretty close to where we left off um, previous game day, um, episode one, or previous uh, episode, episode one. And what we're going to do is we sent, um, we sent Stan down to the hardware store to pick up a few things, and he's basically going to meet us over in... Um, in field 16 and we are going to take the tractor and plow over to field 16 for him and then he's going to go ahead and plow field 16. Now field 16 is um, a relatively smaller field that my initial plan I believe is going to be to plant a small row of grass right down the middle of that field and that field will uh, we will plant potatoes on one side and plant sugar beet on the other. And let me just make sure that I am going the right way. And I believe that I am. So we will turn here and then go up towards the other grain elevator here. We'll take the high road. You take the low road. Anyway, I'm going to plant a uh, just a very small, we'll, we'll rent a... Um, a very small cedar that will do grass and just plant a very small row of grass right down the middle of that field and then half of that will just kind of be our our division line we'll get the smallest uh, cedar that we can get three meters something like that and um, plant that row of grass down the middle one side will be sugar beets the other side will be um, potatoes because you know these fields are so massive um, Field number eight, I believe, which is the largest field, if we look at it there in the center of the map, I think it's planted like in potatoes right now. Uh, but my gosh, I mean, that is just a massive amount of potatoes and would take a considerable amount of time to harvest, even using the, uh, the big harvesters that we own. So what we have decided to do in our little storyline here, and again, this is all about um, looking after the community and, and doing our best to keep, you know, everything going um, bright and lively is that we have leased this field over here. Again, that's field number 16. And we have leased the space um, here at this storage facility to plant or to park our uh, harvesters, our potato and sugar beet harvesters under. And so this will give us the opportunity to um, harvest sugar beets and potatoes but do it on a relatively small field and because we only really need potatoes um, for um, for our pigs and then obviously uh, sugar beets to sell so here we go and we're just gonna let him plow first and he's off so we'll head back over to the pickup because, again, he went to the hardware store, and we'll just run over getting our pickup, head back to the main farm, and we've got, obviously, some things that we need to do today in this episode. Uh, we need to move a bit of total mix rations around and, and get uh, get our cows uh, fed, keep them, try to keep them productive because that's all kind of part of the, part of the key to making money is productivity, productivity productivity so for those of you that are into mods uh, and I know many of you are because let's face it mods really uh, help bring out the uh, aspects of the vanilla game into making it somewhat incredible and of course extends the life of farm sim 17 tremendously um, I'm looking for a um, where do we need to go? We need to go here. Yep. I'm looking for a gooseneck trailer. Uh, for those of you in the U.S., I know you're familiar with gooseneck gooseneck style trailers. Um, but basically, a gooseneck style trailer that connects to a pickup. So, for example, not necessarily this truck because this truck is obviously set up for 
uh, service as a service truck to resupply fuel, uh, seeds, fertilizer, uh, and I also think it does water as well. But thinking about a gooseneck trailer, so uh, if you're not familiar with the term gooseneck trailer, it basically connects into the center bed of, say, a pickup like this, but again, without the items in the back of it. And then obviously it's like a flatbed trailer that is pulled behind a pickup truck. So nothing that requires a semi, just I'm thinking uh, just a flatbed uh, gooseneck type trailer for a pickup that functions as a supply trailer. Um, that would have fuel, seeds, fertilizer, but look a little bit more suitable for the type of equipment that we're actually using on this particular type of farm. So, uh, you know, obviously we're using this big DB90 um, corn um, uh, seeder there, and then you've obviously you've seen what we're using. Sorry about the uh, the rapid turn there. Obviously you were using uh, this style cedar uh, here. So something that would look, I mean, this this works. We can actually uh, reseed and re, uh, refill fertilizer and refill seed with this supply truck for this, uh, for this type of uh, cedar. But the size proportion is just a little bit, I think, off. Um, so if it's the best that we've got, then obviously that's what we will go with. But um, I'd like to maybe see if there is something else out there. I've searched, but I've not found anything. And of course, I would say that you know my requirements are that it be uh, error-free and um, you know look look really good and also function uh, really well as well. So if anyone knows anything um, that's similar to that, please let me know. And um, maybe provide a link or tell me where I might can can find it and if any of you talented modders out there are watching and want to come up with something like that I think it would be uh, I think that would be a wonderful mod especially for an American style map because um, you know those flatbed gooseneck type trailers or even you know f uh, gooseneck style um, gooseneck style uh, livestock trailers are also you know quite popular and I believe I saw um, I believe I saw a gooseneck style, um, oops, wrong gear. I believe I, I saw a gooseneck style uh, livestock trailer that would be pulled behind a pickup um, just a few days ago when I was out looking and doing a search for things. We lined up, there we go. All right, um, what are we going to do? We're going to go and move some some silage around I think we need to or some total mix rations I should say what I don't know let me just get out of cab because you know I know I know when I watch videos um, it's so much more to see when we do it in third person versus first person um, let's see do we have any total mix rations already down here and if we do it's probably going to be some of the older and we do we, do we, do we? No, we do not. Okay, not a problem. We've got some in the process of being made up here at the main farm, so we'll just drive across this direction. Of course, if you're playing on an earlier version of this map, this is where uh, Stevie put the uh, silage bunker, was down this path here, and of course he removed it because there are just issues with the whole silage uh, process silage compaction process in Farm Sim 17. Still to this date, even after numerous patches have been have been released for it, and I'm not even going to attempt to try to back up in first person because, well, mirrors just don't really function that well, and I struggle as it is to back up and talk at the same time, but I think we're going to do okay, and I think we're going to hit our spot. All right, hopefully we have um, enough TMR to make it worth our while of doing this. Let's see how much. Yeah, 40-something 40, 40 thousand. That's pretty good. And, of course, um, you know, we're just really low. We may actually have to break down and buy some, uh, some hay and some straw bales. Um, there is a... There is a farmer in town that has some. Uh, he has quite a bit left over from um, the previous 
uh, previous harvests and everything so we may have to break down and and buy that um, just to be able to keep these cows going you know the um, future farmers of America chapter here at this local the local high school did a fantastic job keeping these cows uh, fed and cleaned up and all that stuff while this farm was kind of in a state of of, um, of transition because again the previous owners just kind of walked away from it um, they had had pretty much enough and they owed so much money that um, it just sort of became a problem and it, they got underwater with it and so they kind of just had to kind of walk away from it the bank and everything obviously uh, enlisted the assistance of the high school the high school came in and so uh, one of our commitments to uh, just kind of helping with the um, with the high school boys is that and girls um, is that we are going to continue to use their services uh, here on the farm they're going to come down and help us from time to time uh, of course we can't we can't pay them uh, necessarily but we will donate to their their school and we will obviously um, allow them to come down and operate the equipment under their uh, teachers uh, supervision and everything and so that's an excellent opportunity you know when I was in uh, the future farmers of America in the Texas chapter school where I uh, where I um, uh, where I went to school um, we had a big uh, we had a big farm that was part of the school itself but other area farmers and of course this was back in the in the very early 80s um, are we out already I believe we are um, so yeah we're gonna have to look at that but anyway when I was in school in future farmers of America um, we also went to the local farms and we had a dairy. One of my best friends in school, uh, his father owned a dairy. And um, so we got to go there and got to experience, um, you know, a dairy, a functional, a functional dairy farm. It was small. I think they had a couple of head of, uh, a couple of hundred head of uh, dairy cows there. Not sure what type, but uh, memory memory just fails me on that kind of stuff but anyway that should bring our productivity up for our cows up to hundred percent we just look over at the timer and see where we are on time and I think also what we will do is we will go up here and see what kind of pig food we have made so before um, before we do that let me just turn him off and let's just run back here um, to this mixing station I'm sure you guys have seen this before uh, but just in case you have not, I'm not, you know, I may show, um, we may do a few minutes of filling the mixing station with stuff, um, but I'm not going to necessarily cover it because I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, obviously, grass goes here, silage goes here, and your straw goes here. And so uh, it'll tell you how much you have of each, so we don't have any, we don't have any grass. So as soon as we get grass uh, tall enough to... Um, hit the uh, hit the blades on the on the big M. We're going to be cutting it to uh, to get some grass in here. But obviously we can get um, we can get straw and we can get hay at the store. Although hay doesn't uh, won't work here, but we can use it for our sheep if if we need to. But in any event, this is this is where these items go. So you just basically dump it in here. This mixing station does not require fuel. It basically has a magical fuel source, so you don't have to bring fuel to this uh, station. Once you get all three items uh, put in here. Then after a few minutes, the mixing station will start up. Uh, there's some sounds and some smoke. Uh, exhaust comes out of the power plant there. And of course, then you'll have, um, it'll start processing its uh, total mixed rations. This here is a, um, uh, this is your uh, silage, uh, essentially your silage clamp. It is a silage silo. So you dump your chaff or your grass or whatever, whatever makes uh, silage into here. Just drop it right there into that, um, into that tip point. And it will pump it up into this. And um, and so these actually really do exist in real life. Uh, normally, they this this appears to be uh, made out of um, steel or aluminum or some kind of uh, metal like that. These are normally made out of concrete, especially if they're pretty good size. They are going to be a poured concrete here in the U.S. 
I did just a little bit of research on these and their claim to fame is that basically they are um, um, they're, they're more efficient because actually you're using uh, gravity to do your compaction so you don't have to mess about with driving uh, equipment over uh, over the um, over your chaff or your grass or whatever uh, that you're going to make silage out of and the gravity uh, forces everything down there's also less waste because uh, animals can't little critters like rats and stuff like that that might uh, come and steal your uh, silage aren't going to be able to do that because they're not going to get into that obviously there's less waste also in the area of uh, spoilage and stuff because it um, you know even though uh, silage clamps are covered with tarps with tires on the top of them and such you get a little bit of waste um, it's not really depicted in the game but in real life you would have a little bit of waste that would be associated with that so um, I don't know if these types of mixing stations exist in real life. I think I asked about this in my previous episode of uh, Law Folds. So if anyone knows if these types of um, uh, mixing uh, stations uh, functionality do exist in the real world, then maybe chime in and, and tell us on um, um, in the comments section. You know, I don't know if something like this uh, would be built on a type of farm that would uh, handle your your pig feed type of uh, situation and while we're talking about pig feed let me just show you this mixing station here so this mixing station basically functions very similar to our dairy um, uh, total mix ration station it takes potatoes it takes sunflowers and it takes uh, corn or maize and again just like the other one you don't need to bring fuel up here uh, to dump into it just bring your uh, items potatoes sunflower maize dump them here and then uh, it will fire up and it will make your mixed rations for you and looks like that's all that we have so we will see what the pigs will take and whatever is left we will go dump that into our main grain, uh, main grain silo so we'll go we'll back up here make it look a little bit uh, looks like that pig got scared not a problem dump this into here and see where we are it might fill them up okay and that's enough for six days all right so we will take this down and drop this down in our main silo and you know um, I have noticed this um, this uh, frame rate drop on just about everybody's uh, series there's only I've only found two people that's doing uh, on YouTube that's doing series on um, Pineco Farm, and that's Mr. Moose and uh, Doughboy. Uh, there may be others, but if there are, I didn't find them, or at least th those are the two English-speaking um, uh, uh, folks that are covering this map. Uh, there may be some others that are doing it in a different uh, language, but um, uh, let's see, what did I do? I drove past the, the tip point. There we go. Um, but anyway, um, everybody has this drop in frame rates when they drive around the main farm. So I don't know if it's, um, could be a combination of things. I mean, I think obviously uh, pretty much everybody has quite a bit of equipment, maybe even some mods uh, in and around the main farm area, uh, some more than others. But then also uh, it may be, you know, it may just be, uh, it may be the, the grain silos, it may just be, I don't know what it is, but that's the only, really the only area uh, I think on this map that we have sort of a little bit of a frame rate issue, so my apologies for that because I know that will probably carry over to uh, a portion of the video, but um, and even on my relatively beefy computer, it does uh, kind of slow things uh, down just a little bit. Of course, that's carrying over into the video itself. So, uh, so my apologies. I didn't mean to turn it off. I meant to disconnect the uh, the tipper. That's what I meant to do. All right, so we will just pull this guy in here and park him up inside of our facility here. Try to keep everything 
parked up out of the weather as best as uh, as we can. And I think what we want to go ahead and do now is um, we should be able to go ahead and start at least get a start on planting corn on field number uh, field number nine. Now this this corn that we're going to plant on field nine, and we won't get we won't get this field completely done, I don't think, in this episode because we only have about 10 or 15 minutes before we hit our magic number of 30 minutes, but may go a little over. We'll just see how it goes. Um, but this field that we're going to actually plant in corn, this is going to be um, the field that we're going to have for the BGA. Um, so we're going to basically chop this corn and turn this corn into chaff and operate the BGA out of that because obviously um, we're going to be employing uh, folks down at the BGA from the local community because that's part of our that's part of our mission is to uh, I got to get out of camp to do this 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 tractor wiggling all about um, is just uh, going to make it hard to to get him backed up. Uh, so yeah, so employing locals in the community is obviously part of our uh, part of our mission statement, part of our our overall plan here, and um, we've also got keys filled up. But of course, this thing has uh, this thing has the turning radius of a of a small country, so um, we're going to have to go out this direction come around in order to get this thing turned around and headed down the headed down the highway headed down towards uh, what is it field number nine I do like the sounds in this John Deere. Now, uh, the one thing I don't like about first-person uh, view on this tractor is the mirrors are non-functional. Uh, whatever it is that's back there is not what we have back there, and I need to pay attention to make sure I don't drive into a light pole. But I do like the sounds of this John Deere. This has got some uh, um, deep, really deep, um, uh, deep-sounding uh, bass to it. I mean, it sounds. It sounds like it's it's showed up for for uh, for business. It means business, I think. Okay, I'm sure I'll get a call from the railroad because I uh, hit their uh, hit their thing. Turn off those. Uh, turn off that stuff. Start getting this guy here unfolded. Now, there is a problem with this tractor, um, and it's not an issue because we're basically not going to hire a worker uh, to do this. We're going to do this ourselves. Um, but the issue is with this tractor is that uh, what I have found is that uh, using a hired worker with this tractor, and let me just get him backed up here because I'm going to have an issue talking and trying to do this all at the same time. Because you guys, you know me, uh, I can't, you know, I can walk and chew bubblegum at the same time. That's not an issue, but uh, backing. So let's, uh, let's grab this on a new course, go forward just a little ways, uh, move the uh, course over, right like that. Um, we'll see how that works. that lined up correctly? Nope. Working with. There we go. Okay, and we don't need a we don't need a offset.
Okay, we're off. We'll have to we'll clean that up later. Um, anyway, what I was saying is is that um, unfortunately there is an issue with this tractor when using um, the uh, regular AI hired AI for this tractor. Uh, he will go up to the end of the field and he will stop thinking that he has finished his uh, his job and he will not uh, will not turn around. So that's a little bit of, a, of an issue I think. Um, not sure what it is but I like this tractor very much and I just plan to pretty much operate this myself and not worry about AI. But course play it would probably work fine with course play. I haven't tested it but uh, I will do that at some probably at some stage. But anyway, it's a nice tractor. It's on my mod spreadsheet. If you are interested in any of my mods that you see in my videos, just go to grizzlybearsims.com and on that blog site you'll see a um, tab up at the top of the page that talks about my add-ons and mod list. Just click that and it opens up in a Google spreadsheet, Google Docs spreadsheet, and there's tabs at the bottom for Farm Sim 15, ATS, ETS2, and Farm Sim 17. So, um, so yeah. come down and clean these edges up just a little bit later but I do like this DB90 I use this uh, in farm sim 15 actually I use this in my paradise uh, hill series because we had well we had relatively large enough fields that being able to use a, a seeder like this that you would typically find uh, seeding a corn type uh, uh, type harvest is uh, pretty cool so I like it and I believe I got this from maybe American Eagle modding but again refer to the spreadsheet and um, that way you'll know exactly where I got it and I do keep that spreadsheet updated uh, so if a mod you know I don't go out and look every single day obviously I'm checking you know here's the deal uh, with my mods and, and keeping them updated right now obviously I pay very close attention to the seasons mod, so there is a uh, there is a chat system that we are invited to, and we're being able that allows us to stay in direct contact with the mod developers of the seasons mod, and so anytime that they release a new update for us, those of us that are doing YouTube uh, channels, they will basically update that and they'll provide a link to to download the new latest and greatest mod. So obviously we're staying uh, staying current on that mod. Um, also, I stay current on uh, both course play as well as the um, as well as the AI vehicle extension mod. So um, when there is an update to course play or there's an update to the AI vehicle extension mod, then I am downloading those and testing those out. Um, but like with both of those mods, um, I do save my previous copy of that, so the older version. Uh, I have not run into any problems where I've had to go back to the old version with course play. So basically every update I think that I have taken that, that you know, at least memory uh, serves me correctly uh, has been a good to go um, update. However, I did have to go back to the older version of the AI vehicle extension mod. I think the maybe the latest and greatest and of course remember folks I am several days in advance. I'm trying to build up a little bit of a pool of, of episodes um, to, uh, to make sure that I can consistently meet the schedule that I want to be able to provide to you all. So uh, as I'm recording this I think the latest greatest version might be 3.0.3 
and I've gone back to 3.0.2 because I ran into some problems with um, the 3.0.3 version, but I have not checked this weekend. This is Saturday morning, the 25th of February. You guys aren't going to see this episode until probably like Thursday, the 2nd of March, so I am um, trying to get ahead a little bit, but you can always, if you are interested, because I do check about every every other day or so for course play and for AI vehicle extension mod, so if you're ever wondering, um, then just check that mod spreadsheet. I keep that mod spreadsheet current with those three things. The se uh, seasons mod, I can't tell you where to get that, but with course play and with the AI vehicle extension mod, you can go out there and you can look and see what the latest and greatest version is of those, and you will, um, that way you can always stay current on your stuff, because I like to stay current on my mods. Now, things like this, I may not actually go out and look for an update for, say, this tractor or this DB90 um, row crop seeder unless I have a problem with it. Or I may, if I'm bored and, you know, we're watching a movie or something and I have my laptop handy, I may kind of go through my mods list and I may look and see, is there an update? Um, if there is, you know, I take it. If there's not, I don't worry about it. Um, but I, as a general rule, I'm not out looking for updates on all these things um, you know, every other day. I'm kind of looking at them every, every couple of weeks or whatever. Or, or if I have a problem. Like I said, if I have an issue, if all of a sudden, if I know that this DB90 uh, row crop seeder has been working flawlessly and there's a patch that's come out from Giants and all of a sudden this thing stops working or starts behaving really flaky or whatever, then I will go and I will pursue whether there's an update available for it um, and then go from there but man this is this is a beautiful beautiful um, piece of kit I think now the tractor does have a few problems uh, texture wise I believe that it has some um, the way that it shows dirt um, well it's not really showing a lot of dirt on the body of the tractor but the, I read some notes about it that um, there's something maybe about the hood but you know I don't I don't see a big problem with it um, I just like using a variety of, of different types of tractors, different different mods. Obviously, John Deere is probably my favorite, being um, you know having 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 been raised around them. Um, let me lift that up and turn. Um, having kind of been raised around them on the farms that I grew up around. They're just kind of, uh, they're kind of my favorite for farm sim. And I know I'm not alone. There's many others who also uh, enjoy the green tractors. Check and see how we're doing. Oh, we're, man, this thing's got. This thing just sips the seeds, doesn't guzzle it. So we've got plenty of capacity on this. I think the capacity might just be a little bit off on this. I don't know. I mean, you tell me. Uh, I don't know which tanks are which. It looks like there's three that look similar and one that looks different. So maybe the one that's different is your fertilizer, and the other three are seeds. And it looks like they're probably in the 10,000 range. So that might be a little bit of an exaggeration. But I typically don't have an issue with the mod unless, you know, I mean, if this thing were to have like 100,000 liter capacity, then I start, you know, then I, I have to really question whether I want to use this, especially use it in a, in a, in a Let's Play, because I do... Realism is something I enjoy, and I know I may not do everything by the book. I may forget to lower the combine header before I hit the Q key to, to drop it. Um, you guys have pointed that out a couple of times, and thank you for that, by the way, because I will try to think before I hit the Q key. Um, but at the same time, I do like to try to, you know, have things as realistic as possible 
there was a um, back in the farm sim 15 days there was a John Deere um, there was actually a John Deere sprayer that I loved um, and unfortunately it had like a 25,000 liter uh, sprayer tank on it and I sort of did the research on it and realized that um, in real life it was around five so I was able to change that change the value in the for the mod I can I can do those types of uh, modifications to mods and of course I didn't make it available um, but um, you know I like to try to keep things a little more realistic if um, if I'm able to do that and especially if, and like I said especially for let's plays um, because you know I think that I think folks you know tune in and uh, you know I've seen some folks that that um, do videos and they're driving into stuff and you know just it's almost like it's an arcade type game to them for me if I'm investing the type of time I've got 700 and something hours in farm sim 15 I've got probably over 300 by now in 17 um, so obviously I'm investing the time to to play the game correctly and I, as I always say and I will stand by this there's no right or wrong way to do it so if you want to bang into trees if you want to drive like the Dukes of Hazzard um, you can certainly do that um, but I think that you know hopefully those of you who uh, watch my videos somewhat religiously are doing so because you like my style of play and you like my commentary and the things that I talk about and such as that and so I appreciate that and I will you know, always do my best to try to maintain a thorough level of realism because again I sort of question why would I why would I do this why would I spend so much time um, doing something if I'm not going to uh, if I'm not going to do it right All right, well, I have kept you guys almost um, 40 minutes, and uh, probably by the time you, you get the uh, introductions and the outro and all that stuff on it, it will be 40 minutes, and of course, I tend to babble on thanking everybody and, and doing my, my closing arguments, so I will try to um, be quick about it here, and just thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it. Please uh, remember... To, if you want to in, interact with me um, via uh, forums, uh, you can find me over at PCSG as well as the Three Dudes Gaming Network, and you'll find links to both of those down below the screen. And hey, if you're looking for other excellent YouTube um, farm sim folks, have a look at my featured channels list on my YouTube channel page. You'll find guys like Griefy1952. Doughboy2913, Eustace Farmer, The Bipolar Prophet, Disco, etc. Those guys, and by the way, Disco, Disco built a button box um, out of a, um, I believe, uh, uh, Xbox type controller for PC. So he almost provided you all the steps that you need and talked about the parts that you need to order. If you're interested in doing that, I think he's got like um, just a small handful of money invested in this thing. It's even something I'm I'm looking at, at potentially doing myself. Um, you know, I am a, uh, one of my other hobbies is amateur radio, ham radio, and so I'm pretty handy with a soldering iron and stuff like that. So um, that might be something that I might actually look into doing because I have looked or thought about think thought about doing a button box or buying a button box. So if I can if I can build something for uh, pennies of what it would cost um, to buy one then that's the way that obviously I want to go. So, and maybe that'll be a good project for the channel at, at some uh, point in time. But anyway, that's Disco, and you'll find a link to Disco's YouTube channel in my featured channels list. And there's many others, and I'm not going to mention all of them. But thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And please come back for the next episode of Lawfolds and also Pine Cove Farm. I appreciate you watching. Take care now, and have a wonderful week and weekend. It's coming. Take care. Bye-bye.